Welcome future freshmen and families to our virtual gearing up presentation for East and West high schools. We're going to talk a little bit about the high school and then get into course selection and credits. But first, let's meet some of the high school team here to support and work with you. Principal for West High School is Mr. Schloss. We have two assistant principals, Mr. Kiso and Ms. Gennaro, each who deal with discipline or attendance. Ms. Felber is our athletic director. Our East team consists of Principal Graf, two assistant principals, Mr. Daniels and Mr. Wood, who each deal with attendance or behavior, and Ms. Hanks, our athletic director. One thing we do is encourage all students to get involved and try something new. We have a lot of different opportunities from clubs to volunteering. And this is a great way to meet new people and learn new skills. Find something that interests you and go for it. We also have a number of athletic programs for East and West high schools. You'll notice we have things as unique as trap shooting and lacrosse. It's never too late to start something for the first time. So pick something and go for it. Now, a word from our crew leader speakers. These students have some insight and would like to share their experiences at high school with you. Hi, I'm Lexi. I'm a senior this year and I'm super excited that you guys are joining us tonight for the gearing up night. I just have a couple pieces of advice for you going into high school. Um, one thing that I wish I had known going into freshman year was that it's okay to go out and try every single club and sport under the sun and kind of dip your toes in the water for everything, but it's also okay to drop some things and kind of tune into what you really like because you probably won't be able to keep up with everything. It just gets to be a lot of time commitments. So it's okay to go out and do everything and it's also okay to not stick with everything as you're figuring it out. I also wish that I had known not to force friendships to stay. Everyone tells you going into high school, the people you go into it with might not be the people you leave it with, which can be true. And I just wish I had known that the friendships that are going to stick through will stick through and the ones that won't just won't. And it's okay because as you're going through high school, you're going to be developing into the person that you're eventually going to become. You're going to be finding your likes and your disinterest, and it's just going to change your dynamics with people. And that's perfectly fine. Everyone just grows differently. So I wish I had known just to kind of go with the flow more so and not stress so much about keeping every single friendship the way it is because people just change. Um, finally, one thing that I think is super crucial to a successful academic career is communication with your teachers. And whether that's checking your emails, going to them if you have a problem and not having your parents do it, everything like that is so crucial to building trust and respect with your teachers. And that will help you learn better, it will help them know you better, to teach you better, and it will just make your whole um, experience much, much better. And I think that that's something you get better with as you get older in high school. It's kind of uncomfortable at first, but I think that if you can kind of hit the floor running with that, you'll be much better off. So I'm really glad that you guys listened to this and you're doing this tonight. I'm super excited for your high school careers and I wish you the best of luck. What has helped you the most in high school? What has helped me the most in high school is asking my teachers for help. It helps me stay on track with the class. Um, it helps my teachers know where I, where I am and what I need help with. And it helps me answer and understand the questions that I'm asking. If you could have changed something early on in high school, what would you have changed? What I would have changed is to not procrastinate to the last minute and to not wait to the last minute to ask for help because then I wouldn't be so stressed out at the end of the semester and I wouldn't have to redo a class that I already failed. What do you wish you would have known before coming to high school? Something I wish I would have known uh, before coming to high school was how tests are taken in a certain amount of time. In middle school, usually when you don't finish a test, teachers are more lenient and then you come after school to finish it. But they don't let you do that in high school. You're expected to finish a test at a certain amount of time. And I wish I would have known that before coming to high school so I could have practiced it and gotten myself in the habit of moving on with the questions and getting them done at a certain amount of time. So I could have adapted easier before I come to high school. Now let's meet our West Counseling team. Counselors work with students according to last name. 
Mr. Coyle works with students last names A through G. Ms. Rebar works with students in grade 12, last names H through O, grades 9 and 11, last names H through P. Ms. Miller works with grades 12, last names P through Z, and grades 9 through 11, last names Q through Z. And Ms. Delgado works with both East and West high schools and primarily with the West Bend Virtual Academy. Our East counseling team consists of Mrs. Phillips, who works with students last names A through G, Mrs. Stuby, who works with students last names H through O, and Mrs. Kemp, who works with students last names P through Z. Ms. Delgado also works with East students and primarily with the West Bend Virtual Academy. We know that the transition to high school creates a lot of questions. So there are a number of opportunities to learn more about the high school and what lies ahead. You will see videos with your middle school counselors of classes you can take at the high school. So be on the lookout for those at the middle school. You will then have the opportunity to meet with a high school counselor and discuss course selection. There's more information on page two of the Gearing Up newsletter. There's also a really awesome interactive experience called Frosh Fest that is hosted by our crew leaders at the high school. This opportunity has included things like a hypnotist and a climbing wall and is really with the focus for students to get to know each other and get to know the high school. We understand that some students will have a lot of questions and are looking for further support. So please reach out if you're one of those students. Counselors are available before and after school, lunch hour, during study halls, and we strongly encourage you to set up, set up an appointment with us. Parents are welcome to contact your student's counselor by email, and students can set up an appointment online through You Can Book Me. The role of the school counselor. Not only are we here to help with class planning, but we also want to help with the stress of life and provide guidance for your future. Please connect with us as you're developing plans for your high school classes and for steps beyond high school. We want to help whether you're going into the work field, going to college, or doing an internship or military. We also collaborate heavily with parents, students, teachers, and administrators to help with your school success. As you choose your classes, be intentional. Think about what your interests are and where you would like to be after high school. Build upon your strengths and enhance your areas for improvement. Really get outside of your comfort zone and try something new. We have a number of female students that decide to try engineering or intro to auto technology or architectural design. And we also have a number of male students that decide to try culinary arts, fashion merchandising, or intro to the design world. It's never too late to try something new. We also have a number of opportunities, so take advantage of everything. It's here to help you prepare for your life after high school. Another thing to really consider is to find your fit. What level of challenge would you like? All of high school classes include some level of challenge. Perhaps your level is included in advanced placement classes, honors classes, technical credit classes, youth apprenticeship, project lead the way, career and technical coursework, or school to work experiences. Work with your counselor to figure out what is a good fit for you. As I just mentioned, we have a number of ways for students to earn college credit in high school. Work with your counselor to figure out what works best for you and your future. We have 24 advanced placement courses, 32 technical credit courses, where you can earn college credit, technical credit, right at the high school in a technical credit course. We also have two state mandated programs called Early College Credit and Start College Now, which will put you in classes at the high school or at a college where you can earn dual credit for the high school and the college. As you plan classes, we will also talk about credits. 
Each semester class is worth half a credit, and each year-long class is worth one credit. You will see that you need the following credits in each content area. For instance, you need four credits in English, three credits in Social Studies, three credits in Science, three credits in Math. You'll notice you need an Applied and Fine Arts credit. This can be completed through a class in Technical Education, Business, Family and Consumer Science, Art, or Music. So pick something that interests you. You will also have to complete a civics exam prior to graduation. Overall, you have a total of 23 credits that need to be completed in order to graduate. Something to note, you can use a PE waiver for a future PE class, but not a ninth grade PE class. You will have to take freshman PE either the summer before your ninth grade year or during the ninth grade year. Here is a sample ninth grade schedule. You will notice that all students will take an English, math, science, and social studies class. Students then get to choose their electives. This student chose ceramics and sculpture and principles of business. The student then also has the abilities to choose health and PE, as well as other electives and study halls. Study halls are not mandatory for students to take. So if a student takes seven classes each semester, they will be taking a year of seven credits. If a student decides to take a study hall each semester, they are then taking six classes and a study hall each semester, and therefore taking six credits for that year. You'll also notice that there is resource time in the schedule. This time is a really great opportunity for students to receive support in any of their classes, as well as also connect with teachers and other staff during that time. Lunch. All students are assigned to a lunch during period four, five, or five C. The lunch time is determined based on your fourth or fifth period class. Unfortunately, you are not able to change your lunch because of how your schedule is set up and based on your fourth or fifth period class. High school is a fresh start and it's very important to start strong. As a high school student, you will have a transcript that documents all of your grades and credits earned. Your transcript is a permanent record of your success and will exist even after you graduate high school. Please be intentional with the classes you take and the habits you begin as a high school student. All of us at the high school want you to be successful, so please reach out if you need anything. We look forward to having you at East and West Bend High Schools. Thank you for your time.